something that's just happened over the past two days, right? This has been three years from the Afghanistan withdrawal to the open borders to our feckless and weak response to October 7th to what we saw at college campuses with you know useful idiots being used by the Iranian regime to push propaganda against Israel. And now we have nobody high ranking from the administration to greet the prime minister of this ally at the airport before a major speech. Look, when Xi Jinping went to California, yes, you didn't have Biden there, but you had uh, Janet Yellen there, you had Gavin Newsom there, you had a whole host of people to meet him at the airport. Who's there to meet Benjamin Netanyahu? No one. I mean, this symbolizes and this shows you know, our adversaries and the adversaries of Israel that you know, the administration does not necessarily have Israel's back, and that is a dangerous message to send. Right, because they're worried about Michigan. Uh, and what about our campuses? This gives a sense of you can go at it come September when you're back on campus. I remember what the VP said about the anti-Israel protesters, that she said this uh, last week. She said they are showing exactly what the human emotion should be as a response to Gaza. There are some things the protesters are saying that I absolutely regret, uh, reject, so I don't mean to wholesale endorse their points. We have to navigate it. I understand the emotion behind it. Really? Do they understand October 7th? October 7th, but also reports that Iran was helping to fund these protests. I mean, where are the investigations? Where are the national security investigations from the Department of Justice? Nowhere to be found. And look, Kamala Harris gave a speech back in March calling for an immediate ceasefire where reports said that the administration actually had to tone down the speech because it was so anti-Israel. And now we see that there's a speech coming in front of both sessions of both houses of Congress and Kamala Harris is nowhere to be found. She's going to Indianapolis. Now, I would understand if she were going to the border or Europe for a summit, but we know she doesn't like to go to those two places. Yeah. So, I mean, it is a very big snub and very dangerous for the international community, right? Yeah, I think it's Milwaukee, but I know what you're saying. Uh, she's going to choose to go to Milwaukee. I'm not sure why, uh, but it just gives a signal, too. And uh, there's a lot of people who believe that Kamala Harris would be worse with Israel than Joe Biden ever was. Uh, Ian Pryor, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Uh, meanwhile, if President Biden's not